What's up guys? I have decided to make a small video showing the new Craftsman V20 brushless impact driver. It is not a bad piece. You know, it's got nice rubber over the front, back, three LED lights, and comes with two batteries, a charger, two 2.0s. Um, I haven't really used it yet. I pretty much just unboxed it. Came out with a bag like that. Not the highest quality of bag, but it's a bag nonetheless. Um, Size-wise, it's, it's kind of big, but then again, I'm kind of spoiled because this is what I use every day pretty much but if you compare it to this guy here yeah you know that rigid ridges are nice ridges are great but this thing is big and pretty heavy um, other than that it's comfortable it's just kind of like a kind of like a red DeWalt kind of like a DeWalt and a Porter cable got together this is their love child um, power wise it is not too bad um, let's see it's 1500 inch pounds of torque um, 2800 rpms and 3500 impacts per minute um, if you want to compare that to like the DeWalt 887 you know which is their top of the line at the moment the DeWalt 887 has 1825 inch pounds of torque, 3250 RPM, and 3800 impacts per minute. Um, but, you know, if you want to go compare to like just the Milwaukee 2750, which is their Gen 1 brushless, torque is 1500 pounds on that, 2800 RPM, and and 3,600 impacts per minute. So it was kind of on par with that, but as some of you may or may not know, there's a, a new brushless model out, the 2851, which has 1,600 foot inch pounds of torque, 3,400 RPMs and 4,200 impacts per minute. Um, the Gen 2 fuel, which is 1,600 inch pounds of torque, 2,900 RPMs and 3,600 impacts per minute. But, you know, you're comparing, you know, to a high-end, which, you know, there's a Gen 3 fuel, which mm, this thing won't even touch. Now, if you want to compare apples to apples, though, which I think they're trying to do with the Rigid. The Rigid here, it has 2,250 inch-pounds of torque, supposedly, from their website with a top speed of 2750 RPMs and 3500 impacts per minute. So these two are pretty close to on par, you know, except for maybe in the in the torque department if what they're saying of what Ridge's claim is true at 2250 inch pounds compared to 1500 inch pounds on this guy. Um other than that, I mean I just bought it out of curiosity, you know, it says Made in the USA with global materials, but eh, it's better than I guess 100% in China. You know, like I said, it comes with a battery, charger, a bag. But price wise, it was 169 I believe. That's not too bad. I'm not sure what the rigid impact by itself goes for. But the Rigid's 4.0s. This is 2.0s, which I like 2.0s on impacts. Um, I don't have any Rigid 2.0s, or I have some 1.5s, but they kind of they're old and they do not work anymore. Um, other than that, um, I could probably make another video of it, you know, showing it running, as I don't have any. 
lumber here right with me at the moment. I'd have to go out to the shop and see what I could find, but just a quick rundown. This is my uh, first uh, video that I've ever posted on YouTube, so uh, be uh, be kind and uh, oh, this here says 2,900 RPMs, which guess websites wrong I don't know who knows anyways not a big deal but uh, just a quick showing and maybe I will make another video of it in action thanks